guys! Welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons of Fiction. Today we are going to talk about Sybil Crowley. Lady Sybil is one of the three Crawley girls in the very popular television series Downton Abbey. The series revolves around the lives of some high society people around the beginning of the 20th century and Lady Sybil is the youngest of the girls from the Crawley family and she, her character is very kind of rebellious, she has her own opinions, um, she is very politically interested and ambitious. She kind of doesn't believe in the whole class system she ends up marrying a uh, driver, which would have been pretty unacceptable at the time. So besides all of that, Lady Sybil is also the beauty of her family. She is very gorgeous and I love some of the hairstyles that she wears on the show. So today, after many requests, I am going to try and recreate Lady Sybil's look. Um, I went for a little bit more of a formal hairstyle. I based this off of some pictures from a formal event on the show because I really like this hairstyle. Before we jump into that, I'm going to start with the makeup and the makeup on the show is very minimal. The ladies are wearing um, kind of no makeup makeup, so you can barely see they're wearing anything at all. So I'm going to start by laying down just a base of foundation. I'm not going to apply too heavily. I just want to even up my skin tone a little bit without looking too made up. So when I've blended that in, I'm going to go over with some concealer to cover up my dark circles and I'm going to blend this out and then also pat anything that is left on my sponge onto my eyelids as well and around my nostrils where my nose tends to get a little bit red. And I'm not going to powder this off because I want this to look very natural, like I'm not wearing any foundation and a very matte powdered look makes it look a lot less natural. So I'm going to allow any shine to come through. I don't have very oily skin. If you do have very oily skin, you may want to powder down a little bit but I'm going to move on with a little bit of blush and some lip color and for that I'm using a cheek and lip tint and this is going to be perfect to give that kind of natural flushed look so I'm just going to apply a few drops on my cheeks and blend that in with my fingers and then I'm also going to apply the same product on my lips and blend it in again and then the last thing I'm going to do for makeup is to apply a little bit of eyebrow gel and I'm going to use a tinted eyebrow gel because Lady Sybil has beautiful eyebrows they are very obviously not colored in because um, you can see the individual hairs, but they are so beautifully shaped. So I do want to kind of shape mine, but not add too much definition to them. So I'm going to use a little bit of a tinted brow gel just to kind of set them in place and give them a little bit of tint without looking overly done. So there is the no makeup makeup look already done. It's super simple because the ladies look so natural on the show. I wanted to keep it natural today as well. So moving on to the hair. Now Lady Sybil has the most beautiful full thick brown hair. So I am going to apply some hair extensions into my hair just to give a little bit more fullness and a little bit more length as well so that I can pull off this updo. <laughs> if your hair is fuller than mine naturally you absolutely don't need extensions. You can do it on thinner hair as well but I decided to go for some extensions in here. If you do apply extensions be sure to apply them high enough because we want the these um, twisty parts on the sides to be full enough as well. So when my extensions are in I'm going to brush them through with my own hair to make sure everything blends in nicely and you can't really see that I have extensions. And then the next step is to curl my hair so I'm going to start by applying a heat protector first all over my hair and the extensions and then I'm going to heat up a 19 millimeter curling iron and just curl all of my hair and I am going to put it on up too so I'm not going to pay too much attention to how I do my curls so no sectioning off or anything I'm just going to sweep my hair forward over my shoulders and then take a piece from the back every time and when I've curled it I'm going to let it down behind my back I'm just going to curl all of my hair in this way and when everything is curled I am going to brush through my hair again to kind of separate these curls and then it's time to start forming the hairstyle. So on one of the sides, I'm going to start by taking some hair from the front of my face and then I'm going to start twisting it backwards. And I'm going to make sure to twist it quite high up on my head. And just working my way back and I'm adding hair from the bottom every time I twist the hair to create this kind of roll on the side. So when I've reached the back of my head, I'm going to pin this down with some bobby pins, which I'm just going to stick into the top of the roll. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, create my little roll here and then secure it with some bobby pins. So when I have pinned it down, I'm going to just tug on it a little bit to make it a bit more voluminous and bigger. But again, securing it with bobby pins, making sure that it doesn't come loose, just because it's a little bit more voluminous. And then I'm going to turn around for you here and work on the back of my hairstyle for a bit. So I'm going to take about half of my hair and twist this. Just 
into a regular old roll like I just did. And when it is twisted, I'm going to create this little kind of bun-like shape by bringing it to the outside and then in. And then the rest of the hair, I'm just going to kind of let it do its thing on the back of my head. The earlier hairstyles on uh, Downton Abbey are very kind of romantic, big, flowy types of hairstyles. So I'm going to try and imitate that by just kind of letting my hair do whatever it wants to. <laughs> so all of the hair above the kind of bun thing that I've made, I'm just going to kind of let go and pin however it falls. So again, pin this down with a load of bobby pins, make sure it feels nice and secure. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side again. So create my little roll, roll it into a little bun and pin down the rest of the hair above there as well. And that is pretty much the hairstyle done. So I personally have bangs in the front, I have a fringe, so I decided to just pin those away to create more of a kind of early 20th century hairstyle. And then I decided to also add a flower to the hairstyle because uh, Lady Sybil is wearing some hair accessories in the photo that I referenced and I don't have anything similar. Um, this is kind of the closest that I got, but I still think it looks nice with a larger flower like this. So there is your Lady Sybil look completely done. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you for requesting this one. If you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more Beauty Beacons videos. Be sure to leave your request in the comments below. If you would like to support me on Patreon I will have a link in the description box. Thank you so much for supporting me. I will have another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching once again and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!